Good morning, Fearless Fam. So we're actually headed to a horse race track right now to go do horse racing, not uh, do horse racing. We're here to gamble on horses, but I'm probably not gonna be gambling much. I'm probably just gonna watch these fools gamble. It's the kind of place you have a beer, people watch. It's still fun, even if you don't gamble. Drink some so, bourbon. Yeah, it'll be fun. And I can wear this giant hat, which is nice, because wow, you know I have a great a excuse for this. Welcome to this very American thing. Yeah! They do horse races in, it's just Western, I guess, huh? Uh, well, they it's do It's super in, Southern, right? Yeah. I know there's a lot of you from China. Do you guys have horse races, like gambling horse race tracks that you go to? Let me know what they're like. Do people drink Baijiu or Pijiu? <laughs> There's like American flag hats and stuff, and saddles, cowboy boots, cowboy hats, churros, beautiful mountain background, and we're gonna go get beer. Full bar, food. They haven't started racing yet though. This is awesome. This is actually only the second time I've ever been to horse races, and as you can tell, the group of people I'm with is not very serious about this. We're really just here for fun. We're getting churros. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I love churros, in case you can't tell. If you're headed to this racetrack for similar reasons, just hanging out with friends, I highly suggest that you stay tuned to the end of this video for my number one tip for maximizing fun. low-key obsessed with this guy's giant trumpet. <laughs> Pause this right here. I want to give you my number one tip for maximizing fun at a horse race track. So if you've never been to a horse race before, you might not know that the horses usually have the most ridiculous names. I swear it's like some inside joke in the like community of horse racing that you just name your horse something weird so that the guy on the intercom has to say it over and over and it sounds really funny. But where this comes in for the consumer as a benefit is that you bet a very small amount on a horse that has a name that you just think is freaking hilarious. What you're about to see is that, first of all, it's super fun to just scream a weird horse's name over and over and over. You'll see which horse it was that we focused in on. And second of all, betting even like the tiniest amount on a horse makes the races a lot more fun and exciting. My friend Megan was the one who bet on this horse and you'll hear the name of it in just a minute. So yeah, that's my number one tip. Bet on the horse with the weirdest name. here to collect your money. This is where you gamble, collect money, all that. We're saying goodbye to the horse races. I don't know. So Mary Gray won 50 cents and Megan lost $1.50. Yay, we did it. Crappy, did you have a good time? Overall, we had a really fun time going to the horse races. Like I said, this is actually the second horse racing track I've been to. The first one I ever went to was actually here in the Bay Area and it was really cheap. So we just went, Eric and I bet a dollar on a horse. Then we won $2, we bet the $2 on a horse. I think we got like $2.50 or $3 and we just kept 
kept betting until we lost all our money and it was one of the most fun things that we've ever done in the Bay Area. I'm definitely no like horse racing connoisseur and I don't really enjoy gambling, but for some reason I do enjoy going to horse race tracks and this one in Tucson was no different. It was super fun. Stay tuned for more Tucson travel vlogs and travel tips by subscribing to this channel and hitting that little bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. I've got vlogs coming up about Mount Lemon, about what to eat in Tucson, downtown Tucson, there's all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna be doing a Southwest Snacks taste test video. So if you have any guesses for what is in that taste test video, comment below. We'll see if you're right. Thank you for watching today guys and I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye!